So apparently graphics aren't the first thing that is finished in video games. That's right, AAA game studios or indie game developers have got it all wrong. Hello guys, Smart Paula here, and I don't typically make these types of videos, but today I thought I would make a video talking about the GTA 6 leaks. Now for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, about a few days ago someone leaked a bunch of videos of GTA 6 and they posted them on the GTA official forms. Now I'm not going to show any of these clips in this video because Rockstar's the legal team is actually furiously filing DMC takedowns left and right. But if you do want to see any of these clips you can obviously find this stuff online. I'm not going to direct you or anything but there are a lot of people online that were speculating that these clips were fake but a day later Rockstar Rockstar actually put out a statement on Twitter basically confirming that the footage was in fact leaked footage of one of their games that they're working on. Now we don't know if the leaker was employed at Rockstar Games or whatnot but it seems that Rockstar is claiming in their statement that basically this person hacked their network and actually has the full source code of the game along with all the footage that they leaked online. Now even recording this video now I guess the hacker is selling the source code of the game uh, but anyways let's just go ahead and talk about the actual footage. Now I only saw a couple of these videos and it seems that a lot of people who watched some of the footage were commenting about how bad the graphics looked and what I saw was basically some footage of a female character in some sort of diner and she was like robbing the place and there were a few NPCs around the diner and it kind of seemed that as you know you point the weapon at the NPCs they'll react say certain lines and they were giving uh, the character money out of the cash register personally watching this it wasn't really anything I guess exciting or next gen in the clip that I could notice just on the surface and of course after the character got the money she basically ran out of the diner and then the AI police showed up uh, like I said there wasn't really anything that stood out to me the AI actions looked pretty generic and what you'd expect now a lot of people were commenting on how bad that the graphics looked and they aren't wrong, uh, the graphics really didn't stand out. From what I could see in the video, uh, the NPCs looked pretty bland as if they were pretty basic placeholders. Like the only real detailed character was the female character that whoever was recording the video was playing as. Now if I were to compare uh, some of the leaked footage to say GTA 5, uh, graphically it looks I mean, pretty similar to GTA 5. And I mean, you can compare it to something like the Matrix demo from Unreal Engine 5. And honestly, I don't think it's really a fair comparison. And there's a big reason behind that. In fact, this Twitter user said this statement, which got the entire game developer community kind of riled up. If you knew how game development goes, you'd know the visuals are one of the first things done. This game is four years into planning and development. What you see is almost exactly what you will get. The next year is mission, coding, and debugging, all back-end stuff. Now, everyone who saw this tweet uh, went to town on the guy, showing all the different AAA games uh, in early stages of development with either terrible or incomplete graphics. I mean, here is just some footage of the game called Control that won multiple awards for excellence in graphics and of course you know you can see that in the early stages of development they didn't have any of the graphics finished. Then of course you have this screenshot right here which is a screenshot of an early build of Horizon Zero Dawn. I mean you can just zoom in and look at all the nice textures and foliage in the background. I mean it looks like something straight out of a high school game developer project. But I mean, as you can see, graphics are most certainly not the very first things that are completed in game development. Now, this might come as a shock to some people who don't develop games for a living, but I mean, it actually makes logical sense if you think about it for a second. You have games like GTA, The Last of Us, all these AAA games that have realistic graphic styles. And when you're working on a big game, such as GTA, there's a lot of systems, programming, etc. that goes into making these games. So usually you're looking at maybe three to four, even possibly five years of development. And if you're completing all of the game graphics first, when you eventually get to your release, uh, five years later, you're going to end up with a game that has five-year-old graphics. So it's kind of a no-brainer that the graphics are part of the last things that are finished or finalized in video games. 
Uh, but anyways, at the end of the day, uh, the GTA 6 footage is still pretty early alpha footage of the game. Uh, no one should really be expecting the end product to look like what they saw. It's pretty common in game development to save visuals for last. And yeah, that's pretty much all my thoughts on this. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below, whether or not you saw the footage. Also, if you guys like this sort of game dev news style video, let me know and maybe I'll create more of these types of videos. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one.